Hey guys, it's me Minori. Welcome back to my channel. Hi. Okay, so um, I didn't want to show it to you guys because I don't want you guys to hate me, but my room is a complete mess. It's been like seven months since I moved in and I've done a lot of hauls, a lot of unboxing, and a lot and a lot of crafting. So my room is now like full of random stuff. And now it's gotten to the point where I have to declutter, maybe throw away some stuff, donate if I can, and kind of like clean up a bit. And while I declutter and stuff, I also want to remake my room. You know, just to have fun, make it fresh and clean and new. So yeah, let's get started guys. Decluttering and remaking my art room. Let's get started. Okay, so guys, welcome to my room. I honestly didn't want to show it to you guys because um, I'm embarrassed. But you know, I wanted to be more open with you guys. So yeah, this is my room. I mean, this part isn't the worst, but you can see all my bins kind of like full and just like not in place. There's some things on the floor. And if you move to the right, you can see all this stuff just like building up on the table. There's just like a lot of stuff that I made and I just don't really know where to put it. My bins are all full, so there's just like no place to put anything. So my goal today is to take out all the bins, throw away or donate stuff that I don't need, get more bins, and just like organize everything. Uh... I also have a lot of new machines, like a Cricut machine, and I kind of want to put those machines up here. So yeah, there's a lot to do. So anyways, let's get started. So there's just so many things in my room. I spy Posca pink pens, I spy a little doll. Hmm, this reminds me of something that I need to tell you guys. Okay, so pause. This video is sponsored by June's Journey. June's Journey is a mystery game set in the 1920s where you have to find hidden objects. The main character June is basically looking around to find clues to see who murdered her sister. Here, let me play real quick. Virginia, are you alright? Oh, by the way, that's your niece. I'm fine, but I think you should take a look down here. Ooh, okay. And now we have to find clues. Knife. Horn. Safe? A safe? Safe, safe, ladybug, canister. <gasps> wait, wait. <laughs> I suck. So yeah, you basically have to find objects that's listed there. And it's just so relaxing, but a bit challenging. And overall, the story is so interesting. I really want to know who killed her sister. So guys, you've got to check it out. I have it in the description box below. And you can play it for free with your phone, Androids, and even on your desktop through Facebook and Amazon. So yeah, let's go back to my room to look for more clothes. So first off, I want to tackle onto this bin. And this is my slime bin. It's full of stuff for like slimes. And I used to be so into making slimes at one point in my life. I still sometimes do, but I don't think I need all these supplies anymore. And I'm going to try to fit it all into this small bin. Oh my gosh. I opened this one, I opened this bottle, and there's like a little bit left in each, so I'm just going to open it and just like pour it in. So here's one bottle of glue, more glue, more glue, and yes, more. This video is mainly about decluttering and cleaning up, and I hope this video helps you a lot to feel motivated since I really love watching these kind of videos while cleaning my room. And whenever I clean my room, I use the KonMari technique. If you don't know her, she's an organizing consultant and she uses this technique where she only keeps items that spark joy. So next up onto these big bins. This is full of LOL surprise stuff and this is full of squishies. I used to make videos of these all the time, but now um the peak kind of passed away and I haven't opened this box even once since I moved in. I only opened this box like twice. So I just feel like it's time for me to move on. It's just taking up so much space. And um, my stuffed animals, as much as I love them and they make my room look so cute, I just don't have the space. So for now, I'm going to put them inside like a bag and put it in my basement. I'm also going to put these in my basement. So no, I'm not going to throw it away, but I just don't feel like keeping them up here anymore. Aww. I really love you guys. I actually bought new shelves that are like bigger than this. So hopefully in the future, I have more space over here where I could put my stuffed animals. But for now, I just don't have the space. 
<laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> she's so big. By the way, inside these big bins, I have a lot of LOL dolls. <laughs> Look at all these little dolls. I also have a lot of unboxed ones, a lot of drinks and bottles and bags and little accessories. So to the basement we go. Okay, so now it's time to sort out the bins. I'm going to look into each bin and throw away whatever I don't need and just kind of like declutter. Okay, so starting off with this bin. I need this. I don't think I need this anymore. Ooh, I never knew I had this. I'm going to donate this. Such a hard choice. So yes, there's a lot of crafting supplies. I mean, I have everything. I have candles, every kind of clay, molds, resin, pens, markers, every kind of paper, 3D pen, and more. So like I said before, I use the Kamari technique. She basically keeps items that spark joy, and the way she says it is so cute. If you want to know if the item sparks joy, just hold it in your hands and feel if your heart goes kyun. If you don't feel that kyun, it's time to move on. I held everything in my hands, and if I didn't feel that kyun, I put it in the bag. Don't worry, I didn't throw away everything that I put in the bag. That was just so I could kind of organize it later. So I got rid of my slime, squishies, and LOL dolls, and opened up space for diamond art painting and stickers. You could tell that I have some new passion and new hobbies. I also cleaned up my table, which was a disaster, and I am embarrassed to show you guys some messy parts of my room, but you know, I wanted to keep it real. After that, I decided to check each marker to see if they're out of ink because I noticed that some weren't really working anymore. I then went on to clean my entire room and tidy things up. Okay, now that I have this section open, I want to put my new printer. And this is my new printer. It's been lying around in my room for days. I'm so happy I get to finally put it up on the shelves. This is for my small business and for my future videos. And I'm going to make it into a sublimation printer. If you don't know what that means, it's okay. I'll show you in the future, but just like not now. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at my face. Look at that terror in my eyes. Oh my gosh, guys, there's a huge bug. It's because I had my window open, but oh my gosh, I need help. Three hours later. Okay, now that the bug is gone, I can finally work again. I'm sorry, I just don't like insects. So now that I have a cutter machine, I have a lot of vinyls and sticker sheets that I'm dying to sort out. And that is why I got this storage from Muji. It comes with these small containers, but I'm actually not going to use them. I'm just going to take them out and put it right here. So here's my vinyl rolls and I'm just going to put it inside like so. And this is how it looks. I'll be using these somewhere else. So I had this lying around in my house and I thought it was like perfect for this shelf. And in here, I'm going to put all these small items. Okay, so guys, it's been a day and I love how it looks. So I got rid of the big bins and added three more small bins and it just looks really, really clean. I have nothing on the table anymore, nothing on the floor. So yeah, it was a well-needed cleanup. So I have three new bins, and this bin is for all my sticker supplies and my diamond art painting tools. Stickers, diamond, art, painting. The bottom two are my slime bins. Slime. Yay! So my room is so clean and nice, but I just feel like there's something missing. I think it kind of looks too plain now. And since this is my art room, I want my art room to be like more inspirational. And this just isn't my vibe. So, I'm going to decorate the wall. I'm only going to decorate this side of the wall because I shoot videos over there. And I want to keep my like background simple for all my videos. I'm going to move all the bins over there so I can decorate the wall over here.
Uh-oh. I can't get out. Wait, guys, I need help. Okay, wow, it looks so different, but I'm not done yet. Lastly, I went to Ikea and bought a lot of photo frames. I thought it would look really cool if I had like a lot of photo frames on the top because there's just like a lot of space open on the top. So I got one, two, three, four, five photo frames. They were actually quite cheap. Um, I think they were like three to four dollars. I mean, photo frames could go up to like quite a lot. So I thought it was like a really great deal. And for all of these frames, it was like not even $20, I think. I'm going to open all of these up and use double-sided tape to tape them up. I decided to disassemble each photo frame and take out the ones inside. I only used the outer part and put double-sided tape on each one. Just saying, you will need good double-sided tape because my frames ended up falling off so I had to put them back on with stronger tape. And I thought I was going to end it there, but when I saw the wall, I wanted to give it like a little oomph. It just looked a little bit too plain still, so I decided to draw something with my iPad and put it in the frame. So, what to draw? I've actually been looking for reasons to use my new Cricut cutter, and this was a great opportunity. I don't have much final rolls, so I had to go with what I had, and I only had a small amount of black. So I decided to draw a silhouette of Snow White. I drew her in her famous pose where she's kind of holding her apple. I drew this drawing in like 10 minutes, so obviously it's not the best, but I still think it looks really cute. I actually wanted some kind of painting to put up on the wall, but they were either super expensive like $1800 or they wouldn't come in time. So you know, I just DIY'd like always. This is also a really cheap way to decorate because I needed to save some money since I've been buying a lot of new stuff for my future projects. So I think it cost me around $20 in total for this whole makeover. Now I'm just going to save it as a transparent PNG file and use my Cricut Maker to cut it out. I'm just going to cut off the excess because I want to use it for later. And I'm just going to peel off all the parts that I don't need. Here's my sticker and I'm just going to stick this up onto the wall. So after a very, very needed decluttering, this is how my room turned out. And I have to say, I am loving the new vibe. It looks so clean, a little bit more mature, I mean a little bit, fresh and new, and I'm just so satisfied. What do you guys think? This wall only cost me like $20, which is insane. I kind of want to put more drawings up but I'm kind of out of vinyl, so hopefully it'll happen in the future. I'm really loving how I can display my new machines and everything just so like neat and organized. So yeah, that's it guys. Don't forget to check out June's journey. So I guess that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!